Moomin and the Golden Leaf Based on the original stories by Tovi Jensen In Moomin Valley, the coolness of autumn was in the air. Moomin Troll was out picking the last of the wild berries for Moomin Mama's forest fruit punch. It was the autumn ball that night and all the valley folk would be there. Do you think there'll be fireworks? squeaked Sneef. I expect so, said Moomin, trying to sound excited. The day before, his best friend Snufkin had headed off on his travels. Moomin missed him already. Pee-hoo, he sighed to himself. Moomin Troll, look! Sniff was pointing at the forest floor, his eyes wide. Something there glittered with a gleam of... Gold! squeaked Sniff. Moomin hurriedly set down his foraging basket to investigate. Half hidden among the ordinary leaves lay a single extraordinary one a shining golden leaf. Sniff and Moomin gazed of their marvelous discovery. This must be from a tree full of golden leaves, squeaked Sniff. We have to find it right away. His whiskers drooped as he gazed at the forest all around him. But how? Moomin Troll felt giddy. If they could find that tree, he would be able to give a leaf to everyone at the autumn ball. It made him smile to think how happy the valley folk would be. Moomin picked a tree with branches low enough to reach and began to climb. The climb was far from easy, but it was worth it. When he got to the top, Moomin Troll could see out across the whole forest. In the wide, whispering sea of treetops, there were leaves of many different colors. Greens, yellows, oranges, and rusty browns. But Moomin could inspire a tree with golden leaves anywhere. Climbing down proved even trickier than climbing up. The breeze made the tall tree sway. Moomin looked for the ground and felt his tummy turn. He was taking a short rest to recover his courage when a shrill scream split the air. Moomin gasped, Snork Maiden! Moomin clambered down the remaining branches as quickly as he could. It came from over here, cried Moomin, dashing through the trees to Snork Maiden's rescue. Sniff, who considered himself rather too small to be brave, scampered behind. What if it's outlaws? he squeaked, or robbers. It wasn't outlaws or robbers. In a clearing, they found Snork Maiden with Moomin Papa Little Mai and Two Tiki. All four were dressed up. Sniff's eyes fixed on the golden wreath perched on Moomin Papa's ears. We're rehearsing a surprise performance, Moomin Papa explained. For tonight, I wrote the story myself. I call it the Emperor and the Ant Lion. I'm the Ant Lion, declared little Mai proudly. Rar, she growled. And I'm a damsel in distress, said Snork Maiden. 
There's lots of screaming to get right. Sniff looked from the leaf in his paw to Mimi and Papa's head. It must have fallen off that, he said a little sadly. Not from a golden tree. It's just painted gold. Sniff looked crestfallen. Moomin sighed. There was no golden tree. Now he wouldn't be able to give any gifts at all. Sniff's disappointment quickly passed when Moomin Papa offered to add him to his story as the Emperor's guard. And you can take my place as the hero. Tutiki told Moomin. I'd much rather have a non-speaking part. But Moomin Troll couldn't stop thinking about the golden tree. He had so wanted to give all the people that he loved a real gold leaf. Moomin Mama, Moomin Papa, Little Mai, Snork Maiden. And when Snufkin comes back, he murmured, what would Snufkin do with this? Moomin shrugged. Snufkin didn't care much for things. Ahem! Moomin Papa coughed loudly. No time for daydreaming, Moomin Troll. We've got to practice our parts. The autumn ball will be starting before you know it. Moomin Papa was right. In no time at all, the performance of the Emperor and the Ant Lion was ready to begin. The show was a triumph. Moomin looked at all, all the happy smiling faces and his heart flushed with pride. Bravo! Bravo! cheered the valley folk as the actors took their bows. After the performance, there was dancing, feasting, and fireworks. Moon and Mama had created a magnificent spread from the autumn harvest. Moon and Papa cleared his throat to make a toast. <clears throat> to family, to splendid neighbors. He caught Moon and Troll's eye. And to absent friends. To friends everywhere, agreed Moon and Troll, raising his glass, for making me richer than my wildest dreams. Moomin looked up at the bright stars in the clear autumn sky. The same stars would be twinkling down on Snufkin too. Good night, Snufkin, whispered Moomin Troll with a smile. Then he closed his eyes and remembered all of the magical times they had shared together. Each memory was a treasure, more precious than any gift he could have given. He drifted off into a sweet dream about his friend, beneath a beautiful tree with leaves all of gold. Moomin and the Golden Leaf by Tavi Jansen